name is Pranav and I am conducting a science experiment of hydroelectricity. So, here's my question. My, my question is, can we generate electricity by using water flow? And how to get an LED light bulb um, to glow to prove it? My hypothesis is, uh, um, I believe that the LED light bulb can glow by using a water wheel, a water flow. So, for this experiment, uh, my materials that I should use are thermal coal, plastic spoons, Gorilla Glue, a plastic bucket, and also a water tank, um, uh, spinning gears, gears like one big one and one small one, um, a generator, and LED light bulb, uh, water circulating pump. That's optional. You don't have to do that one, but I recommend not to. Um, cardboard and nails and hammer. So, my procedure is my procedure is uh, uh, number one. We create the water wheel using the thermal coal and plastic spoons, just like that. To fix the shaft, fix number two. Fix it to the shaft to a shaft or the wooden piece, you use the Gorilla Glue if required. So here's the wooden stick slash shaft. We put it in, it's glued right over here. Um, number three, no, step number three is fix the generator to the plastic bucket. Use nails if required. Um, Number four, place the shaft along the water wheel on the bucket. We used old toy pieces to ensure that the shaft, um, that the shaft runs in a fixed slot. Number five, connect the shaft and generator using gears. Connect the large gear to the small gear to increase the rotation speed transmission. So. Here is the big gear attached to the shaft, and then here's the small gear attached to the big gear. And that's, if you do need to, get the cardboard, and then attach it with all, a, a lot of pieces of cardboard with um, Gorilla Glue, and then nail the generator to the cardboard, and the gar cardboard's attached with sharp nails that are bent inside the plastic bucket. Um, num number six, uh, connect the LED bulb to the, the generator. The generator is right there. There's the LED light bulb and the generator includes the motor. Um, number seven, keep the water wheel under, wa under flowing water or from the water tank if you don't have a lake or pond nearby your house. Um, hey, observe the LED light bulb glowing! And then number nine, by varying the speed of the water, we could see the glow, the glow in the bulb vary. Observe the graph on the presentation board. So, let's do our experiment. Sorry if the accuracy to the water wheel is not good. You can't see it, it lightly glows. Wait a sec, it needs something. Yeah. Now see it glowing? So that's what happened. So that's See, and now we saw that all oh, that LED light bulb glow by the the water wheel spinning. But we want to know how that works. We can just say the experiment's over. Time for our conclusion by just seeing the experiment without any um, stuff to explain how it works. So how it works? I made a nice picture to show it. So. The water tank or the water flow will go onto this like that as I showed you. It will spin, which will make this gear spin. 
which will make the little gear spin. So the stuff. It, which will make the little gear spin, which will make which will and then when this spins one time, the little gear spins about ten times. So the the gear in the generator spins faster too. So then then the the energy will be going into the motor to to generate the electricity to use electromagnetism to generate the electricity and and then so here, let me show you all the parts that's the water thing the shaft wait i also forgot to show that this also spins when the water wheel spins, so that's how the gears, big gear spins. So now, um, here's my graph. I showed you uh, the observed the gra graph in the presentation board. So here's my power generation graph, and that is if it's the water speed is low, like you saw it, it would not blow. Um, but if it's in medium, um, it sometimes will glow, but not always. But if it's in high, it'll just this will spin so fast that the gear will spin so fast that the electricity will just go bam, bam, bam. It will just keep going. It will never stop glowing. And then you want to hear some conclusion. Yeah, you want to hear some fun facts before the conclusion. I'll just say the conclusion and yeah. So the conclusion is we could we could light a LED light bulb by producing energy electricity by using the water pulse. The materials used for this experiment are readily available in our household items, or you could just buy a few. The force of the water is very minimal compared to natural waterfalls, reservoirs, and the ocean waves. And then, this proves that a great amount of electricity can be generated with low cost. And then, also one more conclusion is there's no wastage in this process of producing electricity. This proves hydroelectricity to be a green, electric, green energy. Go green!